Hello and welcome back. My name is Rangel from Image Ballroom Dance Academy. Today I'm going to be helping you with your, your stationary samba. In one of our previous episodes we already discussed about footwork, timing and basic execution. Today I would like to layer your timing and your body rhythms together. So your timing is going to be your regarding your feet, your body rhythm is going to be on top of that how and which body parts and on what time they're going to be moving in cohesion with your footwork. So let's dive in and find out what are these body rhythms and how do they work with our foot timing. Stationary Samba. So let's review first what is our foot timing. So our feet we're going to be starting, I'm going to be starting with my right standing leg. The foot timing is going to be one, a, two, one, a, two. Okay, so that's a great starting point. From here, what do you do? Well, I've seen a lot of people start twisting, bouncing, stretching, all these different things. Great, very good. But be organized into when exactly you do the bounce, when do you do the twist, when do you do the stretch, and all these things so you can have a structure and you know what is first, second, third, and so on and so on. So, the first thing we're gonna be uh, reviewing today is your bounce. Remember, bounce is gonna be that uh, flexing and straightening of your ankles, your knees, and using the hip joints um, right here. So, we're gonna be doing this into the half, half beat value. So we're gonna be going one and two, and one and two and now if we bring this to our dancing most people uh, try to twist and they go one a two one a two so there is a lot going on great this is a great starting point but i think it's time let's take it to the next level remember how i said earlier we're going to be layering now there are going to be some building blocks that they're going to be going on top of each other so let's see, I'm going to turn sideways. The first thing that we're going to be do, doing is before we go on one, we're going to be counting and. That and is going to belong to the previous beat. And in our case, if we start first step to be on one with the left, that means that the previous beat is going to be count eight because we use the eight count phrase most of the time to count our sum. So from here, we're going to go and. This is the straightening of your knee and going up in the end on a relevé with your foot. Then you're gonna go one. This is where you place the foot and you go down. Remember this, one, when we use the samba bounce. One and two and one. So we are down. Now, from here, before I go into that ah, I don't wanna keep my left knee flexed. I actually want to start going straightening, then you're going backwards with my thigh and that is gonna push my right foot backwards. So I'm one here, then I'm gonna go and. Very good, so from here, I'm go up in the end, ah, uh, and then from here, I'm gonna have as I replace, I'm gonna place partial weight, as I replace forward, you can twist and you can open your thigh muscle. So I'm gonna go front view. So we start on the right, the first thing we did is and, Drop the leg one underneath the body and start straightening. Ah, two. Okay, now we're on count two. Now, what do we do from here? Don't close your legs straight away. Remember, we have one and two and. So, your body action of bouncing, straightening the knees is gonna be on count. And so when you hear and you're gonna always have that straightening of the leg and you're gonna be going up slightly on a releve. And we're gonna repeat the same sequence. So we're gonna go one and a two and 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 back angle and up two and one and a two 
and one and a two and one and a two. Now, when you layer this body rhythms with your foot timing, that creates a very nice contrast and makes your dancing more sophisticated. So if you're here and you just do one, a two, one, a two, one, a two. And let's say you try to do some twist because you've seen or you've heard that there is some twist. Great, good, that was great up until today. Now you know more about it. So let's try to see how this version compares with when we do the end straightening of the knee. And one end, a two, and one end, a two, and one end, a two, and one end, a two. Hopefully straight away you can notice that the dancing becomes, well, it has this poly rhythms, it becomes more rhythmical and of course more interesting to watch. So I hope that this was helpful. Again, try to use the end counts, which is your body actions of bending and straightening or compressing and straightening your knee, ankle and your hips, combined with your foot timing, which is one, a two, combine them together and make your dancing more rhythmical. Thank you very much for watching and see you in our next episode.